In the last video, I showed you how to set up a Zoom call so you could record your podcast. In this particular video, we are going to be talking about how to use a Zoom phone call and get way better audio than what Zoom is providing for you. That's all coming up next. Thanks so much for watching this week. I really appreciate it. My name is the Shan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. And today's video is brought to you by my essential equipment guide to starting a podcast. If you're thinking about starting a podcast, you haven't decided or figured out which equipment that you want to use, you want it to sound somewhat decent, but don't want to break the bank, that equipment guide will definitely help you out. You can go ahead and get that equipment guide down in the description below. It's in a PDF format. Go ahead and click the link down in the description of this YouTube video, and it'll take you on over there, and you can check out which equipment that I'm using for my podcast and maybe give you some options. So today's video is a continuation, like I said, of last week's video. I showed you last week how to set up a Zoom call so you could record your podcast. But something that we encountered near the end of that video was that the audio wasn't as clean as what we would normally like to have it sound. In fact, we heard it sound a little bit more pixelated. It sounded as though it was recorded at a lower bit rate. And Zoom has always done this. It's always had a lower bit rate when it comes down to recording because you are streaming over the internet. And of course, when you have... Uh, streaming going on, you're you're really kind of dealing with uh, bandwidth issues, and so when you're having when you have a higher bandwidth, when it comes down to using Zoom, you're compromising the sound quality of your recording itself. So we definitely don't want to compromise the sound, but we want to get around that. We want to make sure that the microphone sounds super clean. It sounds almost just like what we're using with this particular microphone. Whether you're using the Shure SM7B, you're using the Blue Yeti microphone, you're using a, a Heil, it doesn't matter. You want to make sure that your microphone sounds great and when it comes down to your guests microphone or their audio this is really going to be up to you in communicating to them that they need to either be using a higher quality microphone or they're using something that's not going to be uh, really pixelated so that's going to be really on them and still when you get that recording back from zoom you're not getting the highest quality audio from them but it is a means for you to, to capture audio uh, audio for your podcast so just know that you're not going to get the better quality audio from your guest but you do want it for your your own microphone okay so how we do this is going to be very very important okay so what we're going to be using today is we're going to not only be using the mixing board that I had mentioned to you in the last video, but we're also going to be utilizing Adobe Audition. This can be executed inside Adobe Audition, uh, Pro Tools, uh, Logic Pro, you could use it in Audacity, whatever. You just want to make sure that you have the settings set up right, okay? So let's go ahead and normally let's set up a, uh, a Zoom call. We'll jump on over here into the screen and here are previous uh, pieces of audio. We don't need these. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of that. And let's just go ahead and we want to set up a new meeting okay so we're gonna set up a new meeting and we'll bring it on over there's that sorry about this this happens every single time there we go uh, when you're using dual screens and we're ready to go we have the audio all ready to go okay and what we're doing is we're basically just we're you utilizing zoom as the I guess the bridge between the community the communication bridge between myself and the other person on the other end of the line where we need to add an extra layer is we need to add Adobe audition or your DAW your digital audio workstation and we want to make sure that that is set up so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enable uh, adobe audition and I've already got it loaded up here. And what we need to do, whether you're on PC or Mac, you need to make sure that you go into the preferences. I believe preferences for PC is going to be found under the edit menu, uh, but preferences is going to be found uh, for Mac right here. And you want to go to audio hardware. So you want to find audio hardware and enable that. Okay. And it opens up in another screen. I have to drag it over. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that our default input is going to be our mixing board. Okay. So the input is going to be not only the the microphone that we are using. So we're using the Shure SM7B. We know that that is being fed through channel number one on my mixing board, but also my uh, my guest is going to be fed through the MXU, the MGM, uh, I'm sorry, the MGXU mixing board, okay? So we don't need to worry about default output. In fact, uh, this is so that you guys can hear the actual recording. So whenever I post this up as a video, you'll be able to hear it, okay? So don't worry about the default output. It's normally going to be set to built-in output, or maybe if you want to hear it through your headphones, on your mixing board uh, you could use the MGXU output but normally you're just gonna want to have it on built-in output but for our purposes we need to have it for telestream audio capture so you guys can actually hear what's going on in the video okay once we're done we're gonna go ahead and click OK and we want to start a brand new piece of audio a new file okay and we'll just say zoom call let's say zoom 
call test and we're going to go ahead and we're going to record it in mono so we're completely okay now just know that when you're recording this um you're going to be recording it as mixed in so what i mean by as mixed in is that you're going to not only be recording your audio with your microphone but your guest audio is also going to be mixed in as one file okay it's going to be one file that's it so you can utilize that option inside of zoom but you're going to get that poor quality sounding audio okay this way you're just basically dubbing you're dubbing from zoom over to adobe audition and then you can have a higher quality sound with your microphone Microphone, okay, you're still gonna have a little bit of a compromised sound with the guest microphone, but that's gonna be okay Okay, it's not gonna break the bank. Okay, so now that we have this uh, uh, Piece of audio ready to go. We want to go ahead and press record. We want to go ahead and record and we can see that we are being registered right here. We got everything registered, ready to go. And we wanna come on over to Zoom, all right? And we want to enable. And let's, if we wanna make a test and make sure that this is working, okay? I'm gonna drag some of these windows over so you can kinda of see what's going on. We'll go right here. Let's kinda, of, there we go. Let's make it a little so you can see that there's audio registering. Let's go ahead and test the audio. And if we need to test the speakers and the microphone, let's go ahead and do that. So you should be able to see that there is audio being registered inside of this recording. We should be able to hear this and I'll show you what it sounds like on the back end when we finish this part of the tutorial, okay? So we're gonna say, yes, we can hear that, okay? Um, hear that, okay? and we can hear our microphone as well. We're not gonna really worry about that at all. And we're gonna go ahead and click finish. So once we're done, and if we, let's, go, let's do that again, just so you can see the test. If we need to adjust the audio on your mixing board, you can adjust the level. You can turn that level up if you need. Or we can turn it down. So really the audio that is coming through your computer, your audio that is coming through your computer is all really being managed by the mixing board because you have the settings all set up through the mixing board, okay? And now you're probably going to get higher quality audio using your, mix, your microphone and you're gonna get that okay sounding quality audio from Zoom that is being recorded into Adobe Audition. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, end this meeting right here. And we, didn't, we haven't even hit record inside of this Zoom call. Now, one thing that you can do as backup, and I know this has happened in the past, is that um, I have recorded uh, podcasts in Adobe Audition and I have also recorded them via Zoom as a backup, as a good idea, as a backup. So that's just something to think about if you wanted to go ahead and use that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, end the meeting. Yeah, end meeting for all and we're ready to go and we'll just end this here. And oops, we didn't, that didn't, I gotta enable that. There we go, we're gonna end that and we're ready to go. And I'll go ahead and take you directly to that portion where we were talking and we had my voice talking and then of course you, of course you could hear the ringtone going over the microphone or I'm sorry, over the, uh, the digital audio workstation through your mixing board. Okay, so here we go. There we go, let's make it a little so you can see that there's audio registering. Let's go ahead and test the audio. And if we need to test the speakers and the microphone, let's go ahead and do that. So you should be able to see that there is audio being registered inside of this recording. So as you can see, your microphone actually sounds way better than the Zoom recording that you're going to be getting. So if you want to have a better recording going through all, all around, you can utilize this setup. It's going to make it's going to make things a little bit easier for you um, if you want to have better quality sound. Let's hear how that sounds. And if we, let's, go, let's do that again, just so you can see the test. If we need to adjust, so you can hear that it sounds much better. It doesn't have that pixelated sound that you typically would hear in some podcasts or, you know, you know, or in your podcast for that sake. But if you really just need to use Zoom to record and you're not familiar with digital audio workstations quite yet, that's completely fine as well. But what I do recommend is that you start learning how to use a digital audio workstation that will really make or break the sound of your, your podcast. And of course, we always want our, our content to sound 
really good uh, when it comes down to it. it makes us look a little bit more legit and of course uh, when it, and I, I do realize that there are podcasts out there that are really great and they have tons of downloads and they're recorded you know from a phone but for you if you want it to sound like you're you know in a studio and you want to sound great I highly recommend that you learn how to utilize this type of setup. If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. And of course, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell button so that you can get notified when I drop a brand new video. I've got some other videos coming up on other ways you can set up your podcast using other services that maybe if you don't like Zoom, we can use other services that might be just for you. That's all going to be coming up in the next few videos. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hit that notification bell and leave some comments down in the section. Let me know if this setup has helped you out at all. Or maybe share what you have as far as your setup is concerned and how you record your own podcast. I'd be interested in learning more about what you have set up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be talking to you soon.